We are back live. Look, I'm not trying to be negative here. I'm telling the truth. Tyranny is taking over the planet. Remember what Stalin did and Hitler did and Mao did and Fidel Castro and hundreds of others and Caesar and the Aztecs? This is what elites do. They're ruthless. And they're openly bragging publicly that they've engineered the world financial collapse to bankrupt the planet, and then backed up by NATO and the U.S. military, they point guns at every country, including the U.S., and say, you're going to accept all our new rules or we won't turn the money spigots back on. And the money spigots is all through perception. It's all just fiat these scam artists make out of nothing. Just stop being such smucks, folks. Remember the tens of thousands of chemical, biological, radiological testing that you know about. All of you have heard about them spraying U.S. cities and testing biologicals on people and the government grabbing foster kids and radiating them to death. You all know about black men in Tuskegee. And the, I mean, I just mentioned a few of the common ones folks know about. The carnage is endless. These people are completely ruthless and out of control. But they don't want to startle their prey. You are their prey. And so I'm like a warthog walking around out in the field, and the lion doesn't want me. It wants the little group of gazelles. There's a pride of lions coming up, and I'm a warthog snorting and kicking and making noise, warning everybody, putting out my warning call about the lions crawling up in the high grass. And the gazelles are laughing at me going, well, if there were lions, they'd eat, they'd eat you. If there were lions, you'd be dead. No, folks, I'm not their quarry. I'm not their target. These are psychopaths. These are sociopaths. They have nothing but disdain for you. I've had many elitists, high level, say, Jones, we're even trying to help the slaves. As you notice, they want to be a stake on the table. They want to be eaten. They want to be controlled. They want to be dumbed down. They want to be hurt. Evidenced by you warn them and they don't listen. But so often... I see yuppies and low-level nobodies think they're part of the elite. Folks, if you're not worth billions of dollars, and if you've been invited to eugenics meetings where they openly discuss exterminating the majority of the planet once the world government's in place, if, you have, if you've been in a eugenics meeting where they're talking about the, the master plan to kill the majority of people, then you're an elitist. But if you're some guy worth $500 million and you hadn't been in on the meetings, Talking about killing everybody, you're nobody, okay? Because let me tell you, that's all these control freaks talk about. They're into power, into control. They always want the greatest extreme of power. What's the greatest extreme of power? Ask Hitler. Ask Stalin. Ask Mao. It's killing the, the majority of the people. Every time these guys get total power, they go, okay, I rule these kingdoms. Start killing everyone. Why? Because they can. Because that's their nature. And the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, was there for a reason. And as soon as the government started getting rid of any of the Bill of Rights and Constitution, any areas of it, as soon as we let them chew on the edges of them, they've gone ahead and just eaten through the entire thing. It's like a bunch of weevils in a sack of grain. Oh, there's just a few weevils in that sack of grain in the closet, in the pantry. I'm going to leave them alone. Go in there a week later. There'll be hundreds of weevils. Most of the grain will be eaten, and there'll be nothing but weevils and piles of weevil dung. That's it. There'll be a bunch of bugs and a bunch of their excrement and a little bit of grain left. And that's basically what America is now. And they're openly set up NORTHCOM and openly trained them. I've been to the urban warfare drills. I don't need to read it in the newspaper, but now I can. Now, they're training the military to set up checkpoints, lock down cities. And let me tell you, they're not training them to go after some guy wearing a turban on his head named Allah Akbar. They're training them to go after somebody named John Jones or David Smith or Dan Johnson. You understand that? Or Carol Schmidt. That's who they're training them to go after. John Q. Public, Sally Soccer Mom, Joe Sixpack, because they know when you find out your whole country's been stolen out from under you, not everybody's just going to go work for the government or work in the government brigades or the tattletale squads of the prisons as the entire economy, you know, every technical institute shifts over to security guards and all the major 
college uh, grants that they give people. And scholarships are for the police state and data mining and spying and CIA's tripling its domestic operations. Totally illegal. They know a lot of you aren't going to like being fed on. See, because they're, not everybody's going to get the government job or the government contract. The other half of America is going to be the food. You're going to be the dinner for the Stalinistic Mao Hitlerian system. Look in the mirror. You're the food. See, a predatory system, the globalists have turned America into a bunch of backstabbing, weaselhead scum, a bunch of backstabbing, lazy, slack-jog trash. Now, that's not the majority of America, but they got a big cadre of ruthless gangster thugs now who love petty power and will taser and kill and rob to get what they want. And they're ready to march out and take everything from the American people, just like the Chicago system. All of America is going to be like Chicago, mafia corrupt run, but ten times worse. And every little local thug that works for the feds and the foreign corporations is going to be able to get away with whatever they want. And the message has gone out to the police and everybody else. Just have your way with these slobs. Knock them around. Let them know we're in charge. You will be backed up no matter what you do. You will be promoted. Now go out there and let them know they are our slaves. Go out there and you pull those old ladies over and you just grab that money right out of their wallet. If they don't like it, you taser them. You're too good to punch her in the face or blackjack her like you used to. You just taser that old witch. You take her car if she smarts off. This country's run by us now. We're taking it. Are you ready, men? Are you ready, pirates? I were ready, Captain. Then lay to it, boys. There's plenty of these weak cowards for us to feed on. And none of them's got no fight in them. So go all the way. Take everything they's got and everything they are. Break their spirit, boys. Let them know now that they're going to be slaves on the deck of my ship. A ship of hell. I grieve for this nation. I told my wife this morning, I said, I can hardly do this anymore. All the sorrow, all the pain, knowing I'm right, reading the bills, reading the documents, knowing I'm telling the truth, knowing it's hundreds of times worse than I can even explain to you, seeing the public having no idea. All these nice, sweet, gullible families, all self-assured with their little kids, shooting them up with deadly vaccines full of cancer, viruses, and mercury, shooting them up, giving them fluoride water, brain damage, cancer everywhere, people dying in mass. Gardasil killing people all over the place, SWAT teams raiding farms and ranches, raiding people selling eggs, raiding people selling... Just Hell has been released, total corruption, government bureaucracy is spreading out like a cancer. The nation's got just huge tumors popping and spilling out, metastasization as it just spills through us. One giant rotting cancer with a bunch of yuppies giggling and snarking and laughing. And a bunch of fake churchgoers going into their churches that tell them to lay down, go along with the system, it's the end of the world, do what the pastor says, after all, he's on the FEMA payroll. I mean, how creepy is that? They admit that most of the preachers are, were on secret FEMA payroll and are now public, getting you ready to, quote, go to the FEMA camps? I mean, I'm, I'm getting so conditioned to, to accept this that... I saw four or five articles Thursday and Friday and just mentioned them where the Houston Chronicle and others reported the police just come to your door now and ask to search for illegal guns. They call it knock and talk. And then I saw articles out of Illinois again where they're using the Army to go knock and, at, and go out. I mean, it's happening. Forget coming. It's happening. And see, it's all about... The offshore banks made the decision to steal everything, to bankrupt everything, to kill the goose, to lay the golden egg, so nobody else could ever get a golden egg again. So they're the only ones with golden eggs. They're breaking the mold. See, they got the power out of the mold they used to build their new world order. Now they're breaking the mold. They want you bankrupt and totally poor, so you can't stand up and resist them and say no to them. Now, are you going to put up with these criminals? It's so outrageous they're getting away with it. Your call straight ahead. Stay with me.